What's up guys, Marks here, Everything Tenray. Today we're gonna put a net in, or a mesh, aluminium mesh, whatever you call it, on my Thor skid plate. So I decided to do this due to the fact that I ride a lot on gravel road and in sand and gravel pits, which have pretty sharp rocks and, and uh, or gravel, and a, a lot of gravel. So. I usually always get a lot of gravel in through my air intake in the front on my GP Muchi Thor skid plate, <clears throat> which is fine. But I also have a friend which did not have a GP Muchi skid plate, but I think it was a Yamaha Rally skid plate. I'm not sure, or some other brand, I don't remember. But he had got some gravel in under there uh, between the skid plate and the sump of the bike. And then later he had hit a stump when he was riding in the woods and a, a piece of gravel was stuck in between the, the skid plate and the sump and it actually cracked the sump and he was starting to leak oil. And I want to prohibit that happening to me. So I'm going to install this uh, little mesh. Uh, it's both a good and a bad thing, right? So the, the positive is that you don't get crap in there. The negative is if you ride where it's a lot of mud and the crap, you might clog up the net and you will have less air intake in on the, on the engine, which is not good. You might, you know, get a slightly higher temperature or overheat, depending on where you ride, of course, and how much mud it is. So. But I, I will uh, not risk it, I wouldn't say, but I will do this mod anyways and uh, then see how it works uh, and how it works when I ride in mud. And uh, yeah, let's see how I did it. So here's my little skid plate. It's upside down, inside out, whatever. Uh, I was thinking of, uh, of uh, ribbiting it, but I cannot find my ribbit gun. Uh, so I drilled some holes one there one over there and one up there and there and you can see that it's supposed to be like this I did bend it a bit because when I force it down with the with the bolts and the washers I don't want to have any loose piece up here on the side where I don't have screws so you cause vibrations and you know a bad sound or anything so I I forced it like that so it's always under tension and um, what else? Well, I drilled that and I threaded it M4 thread because I didn't find, you know, the ribbit gun. I have these M4 bolts, four of them, which I have also cut off because they were too long. So I don't want to have anything protruding on the on the front side of the bike there. And uh, right now I'm just going to file them a little bit more because they're a bit too long. And then we're going to put it on there and see how it looks. So there we go, uh, everything is screwed tight. Uh, you know, when I find my ribbit gun, I'll, I'll put the ribbits in there instead and maybe add, you know, one on each side. So the only thing you need to think about is down here because you have the bar that's attached to the front of the bike. And you have to think of it, it's actually touching here in places. So you don't put your net underneath there. I guess you could pretty much put it underneath there and just use the bar as well as a, as a secure point. Uh, but I don't know how, how all the other screws lines up, but I think it would be okay. So you can do that and then it's much easier. Then you just need screws up here or bolts up there. So another thing I'm putting on a new, a new little uh, link arm protector. And uh, one thing that is good to have when you have a, a Thor skid plate or a GP Muchi skid plate is extra bolts with the cone head and different length. Uh, you would need 30 and I think this is 20 or 25. Uh, so you have shorter screws on the front bar and then you have longer ones underneath and on the side up here. So I bought a bunch of these M6, so M630s uh, are the long and 25s for the shorter ones. I guess you could go 20 as well if you want, 
Uh, just remember not to get stainless steel as they can seize easier and they're harder so they're more brittle so if you hit a rock and a rock slides underneath here and touches one of these uh, washers you might snap the bolt um, and if you use a stainless steel bolt use some copper paste on them so they don't seize please uh, you know I have bent maybe two screws or two bolts uh, underneath uh, my bike due to you know hitting rocks and logs and whatnot and uh, so I bought me a bunch of bolts so I have spares and my discontinued ones or not all of them but this one is pretty bent uh, I have one that's even more bent that I uh, I'm thrown away so yeah put some uh, copper paste on all the different bolts there because you will get a lot of filth especially for me that's driving around in the winter having all the salt on the road and stuff and you can see here this is actually for my link arm protector you can see all the shit on that one so I will replace this one as well with new ones and uh, I'll be done with it so let's see how it looks on the front side that would be nice right and it's good to look into the camera, uh, otherwise you just look funny. So there we go, the front of the skid plate with the mesh net installed. And let's see how that works. So I'll put this one back on the bike. I guess you guys don't need any pictures or video of it on the bike because it's ridiculous. You don't see it really that much. Not now anyways. Uh, rally tower is going good. I'm getting the carpeter tomorrow, I think. So. Stay safe, guys, and I uh, hope you, I give you some inspiration. If you have a Thor skid plate from GP Muchi, you can always do this. Uh, and you have, you know, the air model as well of the Thor skid plate, which has more air intakes on the front. And I guess it would be a real good idea to do that on on the, or do this mod on the air version of the Thor skid plate. I know that uh, Paolo, Mr. Mucci, done this on an air skid plate, uh, saw it on Instagram, so yeah, check him out, GP Mucci on, on the Instagram and also his YouTube channel for installation videos, but stay safe guys, take care and don't do anything stupid. Cheerios, bye bye.